Well, this is Bill Bryson with BWCACast.com. Uh, we're getting ready to go out for another snowshoe trip uh, into the Devil's Cascade tomorrow. And um, we had uh, someone email in asking kind of what we brought with us on the Hegman trip. Um, the blue backpack I had on my back, uh, kind of wondering what I had with for emergency gear and just, uh, I guess, what I brought with on the trip. So I'm just going to go through that really quickly since I was packing up for this trip anyway. Um, I mean, obviously, I've got my uh, case that I, ca I throw my camera in in case I uh, don't want to have to worry about it getting wet or uh, shock absorbent or anything. So I've got this case that goes in the backpack. Um, that, we'll just get that out of the way right off the bat. But uh, this is what I will throw the camera in if I need to uh, during the trip. Um, I always bring with uh, some extra clothes, um, a base layer, um, hat, gloves. And I always bring with an extra pair of wool socks. Um, you can use these for obviously on your feet if your feet get wet, but I've also used them in the past f uh, to put on my hands if my gloves get wet for some reason. I can put these on as a backup pair of uh, mittens to keep my hands warm. So it's always good to have an extra pair of wool socks with. Um, I also br brought with um, a uh, stove and some fuel and uh, to accompany that uh, nested cook kit. Uh, so if I need to, I can heat up some water when I'm out there. Um, and for that, I bring with uh, some spiced uh, cider. The reason why I go with this is it doesn't have any caffeine in it. Uh, caffeine, when when you're out in the in the winter time, will actually make you cold. It uh, constricts your blood vessels in your extremities, and it will make your extremities cold. So I try to go with something that doesn't have any caffeine in it. Um, Along that line, to keep my energy up, I bring with uh, granola bars. Um, these are great just to snack on uh, while I'm out hiking. Uh, can keep your energy level up and keep you moving right along, which is good. Um, I also bring with some chapstick, especially uh, in the cold the cold air. My lips can get uh, pretty dried out, so I bring chapstick with to keep those um, from getting chapped up. Uh, to make sure I don't get lost, I've got uh, GPS with. Um, I usually mark my entry point wherever I start from uh, as a waypoint, so if I ever do get lost for some reason, I can find my way back. Um, I bring a Leatherman tool with, a uh, multi-tool, so I can, um, you know, whatever I run into, I've got uh, some options there. And lastly, uh, toilet paper, because you never know <laughs> when you're out. But uh, this is kind of like the basic stuff I travel with, uh, especially in the wintertime. One thing that I always have in my backpack, summer, winter, whenever, is trash bags. And I don't know why. Um, they uh, come in handy every now and again. Um, they don't take up much space. They can be makeshift rain, rain coats if you need to or keep things dry. Uh, you can also haul water in them. You can uh, keep things clean. Uh, I just throw in a couple of uh, trash bags uh, all the time when I'm out in the woods. They've come in handy in the past. So that's kind of uh, what I bring with when I go out. Uh, it does get a little bit heavy with the fuel um, for the stove. I uh, know a lot of people that if they're out in the wintertime, they won't mess with any of that stuff, but they will bring with uh, a lighter and some matches because there's dry wood is usually pretty easy to find in the wintertime. So I know a lot of people do that instead. But this is kind of what I travel with, and we hope that uh, tomorrow we'll have some nice weather and it'll be a good trip. Hello, this is Bill Bryson with BWCACast.com. Uh, we're out at the Little Indian Sioux River entry point. Uh, we've got our snowshoes on and uh, another gorgeous day out, blue sky. Um, we're going to be hiking on the uh, Little Indian Sioux River for probably three quarters of the way in. It's only about five miles into the Devil's Cascade there, so we're going to work our way on through there. There's a couple of falls along the ways that we're going to take a look at and see uh, what they look like in the wintertime. The entry point into uh, Little Indian Sioux River is uh, nice and wooded all the way down into uh, the river here, which is just coming up around the corner. But uh, I don't know if you remember watching the summer episode, the part we just walked across back there was the, the big rock, uh, slanty rock face that we walked across in the summertime. It's, uh, can't even tell it's there in the wintertime. It's all covered in snow. We did just get across uh, some wolf scat and uh, it had a bunch of fur in there so it looks like been munching on something. 
deer probably or I'm not quite sure but uh, we're definitely not alone out here so we're coming right down onto the river here and uh, it should be pretty out it's just nice and sunny One thing you want to really be careful of when you're out in the wintertime is walking on rivers. Um, the running water underneath makes the ice really thin and you can see behind me we've got some water that's actually open um, on the river. So um, when you're out really really be careful. If there's no tracks ahead of you you want to test the ice, make sh figure out how thick it is before you go across it. So uh, it looks like uh, someone with a sled's been down here before us, but right on top of the uh, sled tracks that have been blown over with the wind are some really fresh, what I assume are wolf tracks. And uh, there just looks like there's a few of them playing around. We see, every once in a while we see little bits of fur. We're not sure what kind of fur it is. So I don't know if they're playing with each other or if they found something else to play with. But uh, there are just a mess of tracks right down the middle of the trail here. It's really nice having someone have gone ahead of us with a sled because that just packs everything down and makes snowshoeing so much easier. We don't have to pack down the snow ahead of us. It's just like walking right across the street. So it feels like we're almost cheating out here with someone ahead of us. We're uh, still on the Little Indian Sioux River and uh, up around the corner here I think we should be coming to our first portage. And. Uh, Really not that big of a deal in the wintertime, unless the portage drought is a little bit rocky. Could be interesting with our snowshoes on. So we'll let you know how that goes when we get up there. Still gorgeous out, and uh, man, there's really not really any clouds in the sky. And uh, we're still following these wolf tracks right down the middle of the trail. It'd be really cool if we ran into them up ahead, but I highly doubt that. They're uh, smart enough, I think, to just step behind a tree when we walk by. So. We'll uh, show you whatever we run into along the way. We'll see you on down the trail. Uh, first portage right now still we stepped off down into the, the uh, little cut down in there and shot some of the open water but uh, it looks like we're 
coming out the back side of it now and it's fun to walk through here and listen to the water gurgle through the open spots and uh, back there where there was that really big spot that was open it's just fun listening to the sounds it would make when just a big volume of water would bubble through and uh, watching the ice that's really transparent around the edges uh, seeing the water flow underneath there it's a really pretty time of year to be out especially when it's nice and warm out like today you can get out and enjoy it and not really worry about getting too much too cold so uh, looks like it's got some clouds that are starting to move in here so we'll see how much longer this beautiful blue sky will hold out for us we'll see you on down the trail